Hello Art Kids, I'm Lydia and this is Artie and welcome to Art Kids at Home. Today we are not looking at a specific artist, we are looking at mushrooms. Now, mushrooms you might love them or you might absolutely hate them, but there's one thing we can't deny, that they are incredibly clever and versatile vegetables. They're not only used for food on our dinner plate, but they're also used in medicine, as building materials and fabrics. They even exist in our video games, if you know Toad from Mario Kart. Me and Artie went exploring earlier, and we managed to find a few old dry mushrooms growing in our garden. Let's go see what we found. We've used a stick here instead of our hands or paws to see how much the mushroom has really dried up in the sun. Remember, don't use your hands because not all mushrooms are suitable for eating. And you can tell here from Artie sniffing these mushrooms, he's not going to go anywhere near them. <laughs> Whether you're inspired by the mushrooms that me and Artie found outside earlier, or there are mushrooms in your fridge waiting to be eaten for dinner later, or even from your imagination or memory, we are going to be using this to create our own intricate, beautiful mushroom paintings. But we are not using paint today. We are using tea and coffee instead. Now you will need some help from an adult with this because it does involve using a little bit of hot water. But I'm going to show you how to make our tea and coffee paint now. Let's go start our mushroom project together. So you want to get your adult to warm up some water. Now the water should not be boiling, but still a bit warmer than room temperature. This helps your tea and your coffee brew a little quicker. Now here I've chosen to use lemon and ginger tea, a red berry tea, a teaspoon of instant coffee, and some Yorkshire tea, English breakfast. So those are the four paints I've made with my different teas and coffees. A really good idea before we start our mushroom painting is to test out our tea and coffee paints on some scrap paper. And this gives us a chance to know what the colours look like once they are on the paper. So with the mushrooms we may have seen outside or in our fridge or from our memory and imagination, we're going to draw our mushroom picture. There are so many different types of mushrooms. You can even make up your own species as well. Now, with the tea and coffee paint, it's quite watery. So you can let the water do a lot of the work for you. Here you can see I'm dabbing little bits of tea and coffee onto my mushroom. And actually, the water is merging and making these beautiful, natural patterns for my mushroom. Now remember, you can pause this video at any time to finish off your mushroom painting, experiment, and stop and go find some mushrooms to look at. But remember to join us when you've finished for the last part of our video. And there you have it, our beautiful and intricate mushroom paintings done with our very own homemade paints. So what did we learn today? We learned that all different types of mushrooms have different qualities and are hugely versatile. We learned that you can paint without any paint whatsoever. Now if you'd like to see how other artists have used mushrooms in their work, 
make sure you follow the link below to the Somerset House website and it will tell you about their exhibition all on mushrooms. Now Artie's artwork was so realistic that he tried to eat it. The dog literally ate his own homework but he was very helpful in helping me find some mushrooms outside to inspire us. And I'm very happy with how my artwork turned out. And it's really interesting to see how the different teas and coffees change color as they dry on your paper. We'd love to see your mushroom paintings. So share them in the link below and we'll put them in our Art Kids virtual gallery. And let us know what teas and other homemade paints you used for your paintings too. Remember, if you want to make some more artwork with me and Artie and learn about other artists, check out our other videos and subscribe to our YouTube channel so you don't miss any of it. We can't wait to see you next time. Bye art kids! Bye art kids! <laughs>